That was Warren by Slint off of their 1989 debut album, Tweeze. Slint doesn't have a huge discography, but uh, they're pretty great. Mostly Spiderland. I haven't heard Tweeze too much. Spiderland is great. That was great. That had some kind of like Steve Albini, like Big Black style guitars in there. It's really, really digging that. We're listening to that today because we have a Nirvana song from 1989 up in competition a day. Hi, my name is Bean, and you're watching Battle of the Band. We're on day 93 of the Nirvana tournament today, and that is match 6 in round 4. If you're new here and you're wondering what the Nirvana tournament is, let me fill you in. We took every single track that Nirvana released and we threw them into a single elimination style tournament. Now they're doing battle and head-to-head -head competition until one remains in the end, and that's the very best that Nirvana released. Uh, we are doing just one version of each of these tracks. We're picking the studio album version if that's what we've got first. Otherwise, we'll pick a demo or we'll pick a live track. I did do New Wave Poly, but that's because I have an affinity for that song and I can't help myself sometimes. First up today, we have Blue, which was released in 1989 as their first single. Also, it was the opening track of their debut album, Bleach. Last round, Blue defeated Negative Creep. And in round two, it defeated Swap Meet. In round one, it took down Jesus Doesn't Want Me for a Sunbeam. So it's mostly fought against songs its own age, and then a cover. Which is around the same age, actually. Its competition today is Lithium. A little song you might have heard before. Most Nirvana fans might know it. Maybe. It is a bit obscure. Last round, Lithium defeated Stay Away, another very obscure Nirvana hit. In round two, Lithium defeated White Lace and Strange. In round one, it took down Token Eastern Song. So Lithium's had a fairly easy time so far. Stay Away was probably its stiffest competitor. Uh, Blue has had a much tougher time, especially things like Negative Creep I fucking love. That could easily be, be Blue, depending on my, uh, you know, mood at the time. That's one thing to keep in mind. Don't take me too seriously if I kill your favorite song. Sometimes it's just moods, you know? You guys have moods, right? We've heard these songs a couple of times on the channel already. Uh, let's go ahead and just get into it, eh? Here's Blue.
Love it. The bass on that one is super sick. I love how I love how uh, I love how deep and chuggy it is. I love it. The bass on that is super deep and chuggy. I really love the tone on that bass. Kurt's guitar work is crazy cool in that one too. Um, for the first song they released commercially, that's it's a pretty good start. This is probably a big reason why Nirvana blew up the way they did. Like that's just some great catchy songwriting, and it's interesting and different and heavy and cool. At least back then it would have been really different. You hear a lot of stuff, you know these days but back then this shit was completely new yeah i mean that was just a really cool song uh lithium is definitely written better but it has a whole lot of yaz in it too here's lithium i'm so happy because today It's okay, cause so are you We're gonna miss Sunday morning It's every day for all I care And I'm not scared Light my candles In a daze, cause I found God
pretty sweet song. That's another highlight for Chris's bass playing. Like that guy can really go on the bass. I really, really like the post chorus bass work there. Um, post chorus is probably my favorite part of the song. In fact, a uh, really good song in general. They don't really get out there and do any soloing or anything crazy like that. It's a pretty straightforward song. Um, but I do think it's a bit better than Blue. Just a little bit, though. I like the way Blue sounds better. I like the mixing on it. I like how much deeper it is. And it's a bit louder, it feels like, too. Um, but Lithium definitely nails the style that it's going for. It's a really good catchy song um i don't know and it doesn't get it doesn't get too wild so it would definitely grab a bigger audience in general i think too um and then it's just it's got these really cool contradictory lyrics throughout that are just fun to sing because they don't work together but they do but they don't <laughs> the whole thing was about contradictions basically and uh i really like that like this video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already share with anyone you know who might be into this kind of content and let me know down in the comments which of these two songs you would have chosen if it were you in the hot seat today that's all the nirvana tournament action we've got going for the day but please join me tomorrow when we get down with some more magnetic fields and nirvana tournament action both of these tournaments are about to get into round five and they both have very few days left in round four we're looking at two more days on Nirvana and three more days on the magnetic field. So they're both hitting round five right around the same time, which is an interesting turn of events. I guess I knew at one point Nirvana would stop first. So I guess it kind of makes sense with the timing. Just weird. I hope you all have a great night, fantastic afternoon, and a wonderful morning. Thanks for watching. Bye.